Alright guys, today we're going to build the front attachment part of the DJ Roomba project, the piece that I call the thin clamp, this one right here. So let's get started. Alright, so let's get started on how to make this small clamp. I call them clamps because they're kind of they're kind of shaped like that, but if you have a better name for it, um, go ahead and write it in the comments and I'll, I'll do my best to change it. Um, anyway, so since you already seen the shape, um, we know that um, it's going to be easier to just start with a sketch because it's going to be a little more complex than just a plain square. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with a sorry, square. rectangle right um, we know that we're gonna want 30 millimeters on one side and we're gonna want 40 millimeters on the top okay now let's make a line and we kind of know that we want this shape going on like that right now what we're going to do is D, right, so for setting distances, and we know that from here to here, we want 5 millimeters. Now, we want this distance to be 20. We want this one. Before, and we're not going to need this line, right? So let's do trim T, cut this out. Now we can fill it this hole. I think that's a good one. All right, now, so we have this square angle right here and we want it to fit more easily in the hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a spline, which is basically a line that you can curve uh, with control. Let's make that around here. We click the green over here to finish the line. Now, you can select There you go. That looks appropriate. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now let's trim a little. We don't need this. We don't need that. All right. So now that we have this sketch, we are going to extrude it, right? And the thickness that we wanted was 35 millimeters. So let's do that. So now we have now we have this. Now let's look at it from the front. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut a square from here so that we can put the rod through it. So let's do that. Let's create a square and let's create a, a box on this surface. We want it to be 23 millimeters wide by 15 tall. Sorry, 25. Perfect. Now we're just going to pull it all the way through. And then we say, okay, now we got the cut. See? Perfect. Now this line and this line should be six millimeters, which is what I, what we wanted. Good. Now we are going to make a chamfer here. So modify chamfer on this line here. And this what this is gonna do is it's gonna let us let the 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 rod move 
even lower over here. If this is lifted, it's going to give us more space for it. All right, now let's add the pivot. So what we're going to do is we're going to show our pieces for our project. Right click, insert into current design. Oh, we have to save it first, so let's save it. This is going to be thin clamp. So now we can add this into the current design. Great. All right. That's good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to align it to the surface, right? To over here. This is where we want it. So what we're going to do is we're going to align this with this. So it's now aligned, but we notice now that these walls are not the same. So um, I should have fixed this before, but let's just go ahead and do this really quickly. So let's just subtract, subtract six from here, 29. And now, there we go. See, now we have six millimeters there, six millimeters there, basically. Um, good enough. All right, now, so we need to align this over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this plane. I'm going to make a sketch real quick. And I'm going to make a line, right? So I want to line from here to here that is 15 millimeters long. And let's make that a construction line. And now we want that line to be the distance from here to be 15 millimeters, right? According to our sketch. Let's stop the sketch. Now let us align this with that. Okay, and let's align this with this surface. Okay, all right, so now we have it centered where we wanted it. Now let's cut these holes. So what, I wanted, what we're gonna do is just do modify, combine. We're gonna select this body. That's the target body. This is our tool body. We're gonna cut, okay. So now, as you can see, if we hide this, we have our holes. But these holes are, are the same size as the pivot that's going to go through it, so we need to make them bigger. Uh, now, we're going to do modify, press, pull. And we want at least 0.4 millimeters. That, that's going to give us 0.2 millimeters all around the edge of the um, the surface, right? So, so Q is the short shortcut, minus 0.4. Okay, so now when we show the sketch, we see that we have that space. Now, seems like this is already, so let's make this body into a component. So now that we have this component and this other component, we can make a joint to see how this is going to work out in the real world. So what I'm going to do is we're going to create a joint as built joint, right? Because we already have everything set up the way we want it. Let's select, select this component, then this component, then Revolut, and there we go. So now let's see the clearance that we get. It's plenty of clearance. All right, now we probably want a little soft edges so we can remove it from the print bed more easily and you know, it's got a nice finish to it. So I am going to select the edges. Now let's apply a fillet. Take a look. That looks nice to me. Say okay. All right, so now let's save it. 
And let's move on to the next thing. All right, so this was the first version. I printed it like this, basically this side on the bottom. Um, it gave me a little trouble because I forgot to put supports and uh, it was kind of kind of a pain to clean uh, clean all the spaghetti, but it works. It pivots and it actually fits in pretty well. Let me show it to you. So this is the handle and this goes in there and it holds on pretty tight. Look, there's not really a lot of give. Now, um, the one problem was that when this is lifted, the angle that this would go towards the hub was a little steep and the chamfer that we put here wasn't really enough. I don't know if you can see it very well, see? So, this is the second version. I increased the angle of the chamfer and the length, so this should clear pretty well. Also, I printed it in this orientation. See the layer lines? This way, I have to remove a lot less support. Basically, it's just this. Now, this is what you're wondering. Does it fit the washer? Why, well, yes, it does. Actually, it doesn't even fall off. It fits in perfectly. And does it fit the rod? Yes, it does. Of course, this, this hole is a little bigger because we're going to have the nut on the other side. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to find out how I designed the hub. See you next time. If you like this or any of my other videos, please check out my GoFundMe campaign. All the proceeds go towards my education. You can click here for that. Or if you want, you can do it through PayPal in the description below. Speaking of that, don't forget to check out the description below for relevant links and important details. While you're down there, make sure to leave me all your comments, questions, or suggestions so I can keep making better content for you. Finally, make sure you click that thumbs up and share it with anybody that you think would be interested. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet. You can click over here for other videos and playlists that you might find interesting. See you next time.